Ever wonder what your dog is trying to tell you? Well, our furry friends might not speak our language but they certainly have their unique way of communicating. This communication comes in the form of dog body language, a fascinating assortment of visual cues, facial expressions, and body postures that can give us a glimpse into their canine world. Dog body language is their primary mode of communication. It's how they express their feelings, their fears, their joys, and even their warnings. If you've ever seen a dog with its tail between its legs or its ears perked up, then you've witnessed dog body language in action. These are all signals, messages sent from one species to another, in this case, from dogs to us humans. Understanding these signals is more than just a fun trivia fact, it's essential for building a strong bond with your furry friend. When we understand what our dogs are trying to tell us, we can respond in ways that make them feel understood and cared for. It helps foster trust, respect, and affection, forming the foundation of a deep, meaningful relationship. In this guide, we'll explore the various visual cues, facial expressions and body postures that dogs use to communicate. We'll dive into the subtleties of wagging tails, pricked ears, and even the nuances of their barks. By the end you'll be well on your way to becoming a dog body language expert. So, are you ready to delve into the fascinating world of dog body language? Let's start with the face, the window to a dog's emotions. In the world of canine communication, a dog's face can reveal a lot about its emotional state. By paying attention to their eyes, ears, and mouth, we can gain insight into what our four-legged friends might be feeling. Take the eyes, for instance. When a dog is relaxed, their eyes will be their normal size. If the whites of a dog's eyes are visible, it could mean they're feeling anxious or stressed. This is also known as whale eye. Now if a dog is giving you a hard stare with their eyes slightly narrowed, it could indicate aggression. So it's always crucial to pay attention to their eyes. Now let's talk about ears. Dogs have a remarkable range of motion in their ears, and they use this to express a variety of emotions. Ears that are held upright and forward indicate that a dog is engaged and focused. If their ears are pinned back against their head, it typically signifies fear or anxiety. The mouth too can provide valuable clues. A relaxed dog will likely have its mouth closed or slightly open. If a dog is showing its teeth and snarling, it's a clear sign of aggression. On the flip side, a dog that's panting lightly with a loose wiggly body might just be excited and happy. It's also important to remember that these signs can vary based on different breeds. Some dogs naturally have droopy ears or specific eye shapes that may affect their expression. So, always consider the individual characteristics of your dog while interpreting their facial expressions. Moreover, it's not just about identifying these expressions, but also understanding what they mean in different contexts. A dog that's showing signs of fear or aggression isn't necessarily bad or dangerous. They might be feeling threatened or anxious and it's our responsibility to respond with care and understanding. Learning to read these expressions is key to understanding your dog's mood. It not only helps us interact better with our furry friends but also strengthens our bond with them. After all, communication is the cornerstone of any relationship, isn't it? So let's keep learning and communicating with our canine companions. Now. Let's move on to the body, the stance of a dog can tell a story. Just like us, dogs communicate volumes through their body language. Understanding these postures is like learning a new language, one that can significantly improve your relationship with your furry friend. Let's start with a favorite, the play bow. This is when a dog lowers its front paws while keeping its rear end in the air. It's an invitation to play, a universal sign of friendliness and joy. If you see your dog in this stance, they're likely in a playful mood and ready for some fun. Next, let's discuss raised hackles, which refers to when the hair along a dog's spine stands up. This is often mistaken for aggression, but it's more accurately a sign of arousal, not necessarily sexual but emotional. It can occur when a dog is excited, scared, or indeed aggressive. So when you see raised hackles, it's essential to consider the context and other body language cues. Another common posture is the tucked tail. When a dog tucks its tail between its legs, it's usually a sign of fear or submission. It's their way of saying, I'm not a threat, please don't hurt me. This posture calls for a gentle approach and reassurance from you. Conversely, a stiff upright tail often signals alertness or agitation. If the tail is rigid and the body stiff, your dog may be sensing potential danger. It's best to observe and discern the cause of their discomfort. Also, Keep an eye out for the belly up posture. When a dog rolls over and exposes its belly, it's often a sign of trust or a request for belly rubs. 
It's a vulnerable position for them, so it's a significant sign of trust in you. Remember when interpreting body language, context is everything. The same posture can mean different things in different situations. The key is to observe your dog in various scenarios and learn to read their unique body language. Remember, each posture is a piece of the puzzle in understanding your dog's emotions. And the more pieces you have, the clearer the picture becomes. So, keep watching, keep learning, and keep bonding with your furry friend. Ever wondered what a wagging tail really means? Well, let's dive into the intriguing world of canine tail talk. While a wagging tail is often associated with a happy, friendly dog, the tail's language is far more complex than that. Picture the tail as a dog's emotional barometer. Its position, speed, and overall motion can unveil a wealth of information about what a dog is feeling. Just as humans use words and tone to express different emotions, dogs use their tails to convey joy, nervousness, fear, and even potential aggression. Let's start with the position of the tail. When a dog's tail is held high, it often signals alertness or dominance. A tail held straight out means the dog is taking in new information and is not necessarily aggressive. However, if a dog's tail is tucked between its legs, it generally indicates fear or submission. Now, consider the speed of the tail wag. A rapid vibrating tail is not necessarily a sign of joy, it could indicate that the dog is agitated and might not be friendly. On the other hand, a slow wag, especially if the tail is at half-mast, usually suggests that a dog is unsure or feeling insecure. The overall motion of the tail also holds clues. A broad wag is generally friendly, indicating that the dog is not threatening. If the tail wags more to the right side of the dog's body, research suggests that they're happy or confident. But if the tail wags more to the left, the dog may be nervous or feeling anxious. There's also the flag tail, a stiff tail pointing straight up or arched over the back. This is seen in confident, aroused or excited dogs and could be a warning sign to back off. So, as you can see, a dog's tail is a powerful communication tool, filled with nuances that can help us understand our furry friends better. Decoding these signals allows us to respond more effectively to their needs and emotions, ensuring a harmonious coexistence. So, the next time your dog wags its tail, remember it's not just about happiness. Dogs don't just use their bodies to communicate, they vocalize too. There's a symphony of sounds that our furry friends use to express their feelings, needs and thoughts. From barks to whines, growls and howls, each sound carries a unique message that's waiting to be decoded. Barking, the sound most associated with dogs, can mean different things based on its intensity, frequency and context. A series of rapid high-pitched barks often signal alertness or excitement, while a low drawn-out bark may indicate a threat or discomfort. Growling, often misunderstood as purely aggressive, can also be a dog's way of setting boundaries during playtime. Remember, context is key to understanding these vocal cues. Whining or whimpering is usually a sign of distress, frustration or desire for attention. It's their way of saying, hey, I need something. Then there's the howl, a primal form of communication that dogs use to communicate over long distances, express loneliness or even join in on a distant siren's call in what seems like a canine choir. Beyond these vocalizations, dogs also communicate through non-verbal cues like body odors and licking behavior. Certain smells can indicate excitement, fear, or health issues. Licking, on the other hand, can be a sign of affection, submission, or a way to seek attention. Remember, understanding these vocal and nonverbal cues is crucial in building a strong, harmonious relationship with your dog. The more you tune in, the more you'll appreciate the complex language of our canine companions. From barks to whines, every sound your dog makes is a form of communication. Now that we've decoded the language, let's put it all together. So what does all this decoding mean for your relationship with your dog? It means a world of communication, understanding, and mutual respect has opened up. By paying attention to your dog's body language, their facial expressions, body postures, tail movements, and vocalizations, you're not just observing but truly understanding their emotions. This understanding allows you to respond effectively, meeting their needs and easing their fears. For instance, if your dog's body language suggests discomfort, you can create a safe space for them. Similarly, recognizing signs of happiness enables you to reinforce positive behaviors. Remember, communication is a two-way street. Just as you're learning to understand your dog's language, they're learning to understand yours. Consistency in your own signals will make this process smoother. With these insights, you're now equipped to understand your dog better and build a stronger relationship.
Thanks for tuning in.